Well, it's one of those days today, isn't it? We were going to go up the field and do some more streaming, but I did my famous trick of leaving my keys in my room and locking the door behind me. And uh, after dropping Ty off at school, I tried to get in to get the keys to zip up and do that work anyway, but it took far too long, and now the sun's come out and it's far too hot. So we're going to do it later on. We'll have a late afternoon work session. There's Don who's all dressed up in his best Superman outfit. <laughs> Go on then, do something Superman would do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Tam, Ben, Superman. Superman, Tamalai. Superman, Tamalai. Tam. What, he just stands there, does he? And scratches his nose. <laughs> Does Superman do that? It's like the Superman drama life. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> that's what Superman does. Excellent. Ah, <laughs> oh, wonderful lazy morning. Everyone chilling out, playing games, listening to music, practicing magic. I'm sure this boy isn't actually doing homework. What are you doing? My homework. Your homework? But Zach, don't you remember the rules about not watching TV until your homework's finished? And if you've got lots to do on the weekend, you ask me first. I, I said... You were watching TV last night. really homework, but it's not homework. It's homework, but it's not homework. What's the difference? This one is, I do my laundry. Oh, it's homework that you're doing for yourself. That's okay then. Very good. Excuse accepted. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. Another boy who wants to study because he wants to. That's excellent. One of the things I'm proud of here is... Uh, when the kids are prepared to stand and um, defend themselves, <laughs> as Zach just did very well. And, uh, and in English. Coming out here because I believe Bong's out here doing his project again this morning. <laughs> what are you hiding for? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm speaking to you. I'm not speaking to Bong, I'm speaking to you. Good morning. <laughs> I think someone's very shy. Conversation <laughs> with Bong. It appears that um, his team have decided to change their project. They've decided the papaya thing was too difficult. <laughs> um, and what I have just said is that I'm going to try it myself because they got me that interested. Um, we do need a new food mixer here. 
and that's what will be required to whiz up the papaya seeds, but I'm going to give it a go before I get a mixer. Time, close the door when you come out. <laughs> Sorry, you come here, you can't avoid this camera. Comes out all the time, doesn't it? it well, ah. So, we're back on the papaya seeds. As we needed a new food mixer. I've been out and bought one. Which they can use to whiz up these seeds into flour. And test out whether it works. Meanwhile, we're having a lunch. Which looks like. Pork and squash. Hello, Dom. Hello, how are you? How are you? Dom, how are you? Very good. Me too. <laughs> What are you laughing at? You don't ch choke on your lunch. <laughs> oh, what have you got? It's a lorry, yes. Well, actually, what's it called? Remember, it's a dumper truck. Yeah, dumper truck. Very good. just whizzing up um, papaya seeds. Now what you need to do from what I read you can do that and then when if you put that out in the sun to dry when it's finished when it's dried put it through there again and that will chop it up even finer. You know at the moment it's a little bit wet and so you need to dry it and then put it through the, that thing a second time when it's dry. Yeah. See, I've been looking this up on the internet. <laughs> As it's clouded over this afternoon, with some threatening looking clouds, meaning rain is possible within a couple of hours, we've decided to come up and take the opportunity to pick the lamb yai. Kids are at that right now. And then while they're doing that I'm going to get on with cutting more of this grass so you'll see more of a difference again when we've finished. Well 
it has to be said that with the clouds moving away again, it's got very, very hot. Another good hit with one tank, tank full of fuel. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it now until tomorrow. No rush, steady, steady, It'll get done. Uh, making bigger bundles out of the bundles we made yesterday. Right. As you are no doubt aware, I've been moaning a bit lately about rules and stuff. I'll take the opportunity now. What's this doing on the floor? But I won't bother with that right now because that's it's connected, <coughs> but it's not what I'm talking about right now. Now we've tried this before um, and let it go, but I think it's time to bring it back. Um, I'm talking about is setting up children's council. So you can organise yourselves for several reasons. Um, one so that maybe the older children can take responsibility to make sure that everybody is doing their duties, following the rules, whatever, before I jump in a boat. Um, but also so that you have a voice Anything is unfair that you get a chance to say so. Um, I'm going to stop there and let Ty run through that. I suggest um, we also need to hold more seminars involving everybody, including the house mothers as well, to discuss any problems. Um, we won't do that today, possibly tomorrow. So I want you to get yourselves organised best first. Um, you need to vote yourself a spokesperson because I don't want, it's not going to work if all of you come trying to say what the problems are. Not that you can't. What I'm saying is you should have one spokesperson. So if you've got a problem you want everybody to discuss, then you tell the spokesperson and the spokesperson brings it up. Okay? Ty, can you want to explain that? Uh, 
Discussing meetings and seminars there will be general problems. I will let you know if I think people aren't following the few rules we have. Um, and you can let me know if you think anything's unfair or there's a problem, anything, anything at all. Um, obviously there might be some problems that people might have that they don't want to discuss in front of everybody. Um, that's okay, but also don't forget the house mothers are here for... Now if you've got personal problem of any sort, don't be afraid to talk to the house mothers, that's what they are there for. Okay. Now, the sorts of things you older ones, and I want you all to sort the same between yourselves as much as you can. I don't want to be telling you what you need to do. You older ones should be old enough now to think it all out for yourselves about the responsibilities of doing your best to make sure the younger ones are either behaving properly or doing what they should their duties or whatever. Number one with that is you need to make sure you are doing your duties and you are behaving properly because you are the ones who are setting the example for the younger one. A um, couple of things I want to point out that you can keep an eye on. Uh, number one, I just had a very quick look underneath the stairs. You've only just come off a long-term ban from going under the stairs and using the toys because of the mess that it was in and it looks like you will be on another long term ban very soon if you don't sort it out. You're just dumping everything under there again and not keeping it tidy. So, where you all are at any time. It might sound a strange example, but say someone had a horrible accident here and started a fire. There's a big fire in the house. I need to know where every single one of you are. I don't need to be spending time finding out where you are. Do you understand that? You know, so it is important. Hey, I mentioned this yesterday, the day before, again, um, so I'm going to mention it again because I want to try and make it, maybe I haven't made it clear, yeah? maybe I have not explained clearly, 
Um, so I've taken that as my fault. So I need to make sure I explain things clearly this time. And everybody can listen because it will come to you all if you are here that long. At 18, in actual fact in Thai law, you're not truly an adult until you're 20. <coughs> but in most countries of the world, at 18, you're an adult. This being a children's home, um, we obviously are not going to uh, throw you out as such until you have finished your education, up to matter of six, um, which in your case you know, will bring you to 19. You will be over 19 by the time you finish. And several of you will be the same. So I will say again to let you know in good time, at 18, you will be expected to pay your way. Now you cannot pay your way in money as such. But everybody knows we have two house mothers, myself, to keep on top of everything. Now, it makes sense that as you get older, then I am going to ask you to do more to get things covered, the jobs we need doing, like keeping the garden in good order. It's part of growing up. So for now